This is Daisy and I'm Marie. Together we enjoy lots of adventures uh, out in the rivers, the woods, uh, even even shopping. But uh, we get kind of messy. You know, so anyway, what I have here is my homemade dog. Ah, ah, oh, <laughs> it probably even smells like. So this is my homemade dog apron. I thought I'd show you this. It takes oh, minutes. This is a, a not even a, a three minute job, I don't think, to make my own homemade dog, ape, dog wash apron. And here you'll see Daisy enjoys being outside in the mud and the rivers, but she also enjoys being inside the home. So she has to be cleaned up. And sometimes just a, a dusting talc doesn't get it the job done. Warm water and soap gets my dog clean enough so that she can come in the home and do the family home with us. So, and I'm loving my homemade apron. It's vinyl and it keeps the water off of my clothes so I can stay a little cleaner while I'm cleaning up my messy puppy. Now, here's how I did this. I have already made an apron, but what I'm showing you here is I've got a French curve that makes the same curve as the apron from about the shoulders. Probably better here. I don't use it very often, but it is. So, if you don't already have an apron, and you might have one of these. Uh, that's all you need. Oh, this okay. apron is about oh, half a yard long and about a half a yard wide. It seems longer because of the straps. So all I'm doing here is just tracing along the French curve. And that's just chalk for like a chalkboard. Uh, I can see that's what I line. found. I could probably leave it. Or not. There we go. I say most of the time with this project, I spent thinking about how I want it to look. Um, Don't like when it bubbles. And that wasn't very long either. You see, it's very simple. Mm -hmm. I'll get that later. Oh, it's done. The vinyl's very easily cut with a rotary cutter or scissors. I bought it in my yeah. fabric store local. Yeah, it was yeah, just something that happened to be there. You could use marine vinyl. You're making me um, crazy. And any water repellent material. Okay. So now I'm uh, going to really. use that straight edge. But the thing about vinyl is it doesn't mm -hmm. need to be hemmed. So okay. there's very little sewing involved. In case you're one of those people that don't like to sew. So here I'm just showing you I'm going to trace the bottom of this. So now I've slid it down. I go down the side. And I'm going to just but I'm going to trace it. And one edge is already cut. I'm using the edge of the apron. I have the vinyl folded over. I have the apron folded over at the same points. Right on the right. That's what I want. I use heavy duty hardware because it helps hold down, you know, uh, cutting that for like carpentry uh, rulers and straight edges. I find it's easier for me when I'm working with the vinyls and leathers. It, the weight of it helps hold it down. Okay. Sometimes I'm working with lots of material and the weight helps. I could square it off, but I don't want to. I've seen those nifty little quilter squares and they are really nifty and you can see through them. That's great. But I need the weight. And as you see, I'm not too worried about fancy tools right there. I'm just going to use a spool of thread. That's the kind of arch I want around the Get corner. The in the way of the camera. Uh, My big hair getting in the way. Edge. 
I have much longer straight edges, but I, I didn't need it for this. Nice straight cut. small right angle, French curve. And there it is. Oh. And this Reading here, this apron chalk. is done now. Nice it That's fingers. chalk. Just rub it off with your wet. fingers. Sponge. It's going to get washed off with okay. dog. So, anyway. There is our apron. It might seem short, but we're going to have straps that pretty over. That's it. Oh, I'm just this wavy image. It's like driven for a bath. I love that wavy print to and it. This it is looks the top. like water. And this is the. I thought this ribbon was cute. Sort of the colors roots. match. The vinyl. I think this is cute. I'm just going to put a little bit there. And the only one to do it on to see this apron is myself and Daisy. This is the remnant piece that came off the... Uh, this is the bit that fell down thing. behind the desk. Off I fished outside. it out. That's the piece that was right there in the and corner. I ran my test. That's my test stitch. Okay. I always run a test stitch on material. Always working it looks that. good. There we go. the right color blue. Maybe I should have used the blue. Alright, see this is all gone. Oh, this is going to be a dark one. it out. It fits. I use paper binder clamps. If you haven't worked with bias before. There's one side that's a little bigger. So I'm going to put that in the back. The point is as long as I sew on the smaller piece, I should be able to hit Grab that back piece without any problems. And then uh, well, you just do some of their office clips or whatever. I use them with I take it as far as the bottom will go. What I've done. Exactly what I showed you. I've got my I'm going to sew on the short side. Let's see if this the other side. And we've got that. I've got the needle to the left on this machine because I can. Get that under there. That is a walking foot. If you haven't seen one before, it's pretty handy to have with heavy materials. Now I did that six years ago I put hard for I'll turn it on. Ah. Sounds like a model of thread already. I'll as close as I can. Oh, there it is. Look at that. That 
that's that part of it.